Welcome to Lose a Pound a Week with Food for Healthy Guts. So today I'm talking about lunches and what lunch you should choose. Now I am lucky enough to work at home most of the time and so I can cook myself things to eat. But in a couple of weeks we're going to be talking about how to transport food, lunches in particular, to work. Um, and so you can make any of these foods and take them into work the next day. So I have got three different meals here. I have got a soup, that's a butternut uh, squash soup. I have got a salad, this is a chicken um, and beetroot salad. And I have got a chicken and vegetable stir fry. With all of these three meals, I would put on grated cheese for a little bit of extra protein and fat. Now, the meal that is lowest in calorie is the salad. Now, I don't really like to talk about salad, um, calories because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, calories. Um, I'm more interested in talking about carbs, fat, protein, and most important, how it makes me feel. So the salad is lower in calories if you are a calorie person, but not by much actually, only by about 50-ish calories, but it kind of depends what else you're gonna be putting on that salad. You could put on seeds, you could put on nuts, you can put on a balsamic dressing and they all change the calories. Um, these two, the soup, now the soup has got butternut squash in it and it's got coconut milk. Coconut milk is really great for your mood and it's really great uh, because it's such a healthy fat for your skin and your joints. Um, and so the soup and the stir fry are very, very similar in calories. So I would say, don't worry about calories. I would say, think about carbs. Now, the lowest in carbs is going to be the salad because these are all over the ground um, vegetables apart from the beetroot, but I've only got a little bit of beetroot and your body loves beetroot. If you are having a little bit of problem with constipation, then beetroot might be able to help you. Uh, the next one for carbohydrates, funnily enough, uh, is the soup. The soup has got butternut squash in it, but butternut squash grows over the ground, so it wasn't that high in carbs. Uh, followed on by the stir fry. Now the stir fry has got onions and garlic, it's got peppers, it's got mushrooms. The moment you have vegetables that grow under the ground, you are starting to increase the amount of carbs. Now, I would say to you, the next thing to be really concerned about is uh, how you're feeling and how busy your day is going to be. If you are very busy and you're feeling very stressed, then please don't eat salad. That is hard to digest. Your body has got to do quite a lot of work. The easiest food to digest if you have got a stressful day or if you are an IBS sufferer is the soup. Have the soup. The cooking process and the blending process means that this is very, very easy to digest. So soup would be my first choice if I know I've got a busy day and I'm gonna be quite stressed. The stir fry is good because it's cooked. It's got ginger in it, which is really nice for your, di for your digestive system. So have a little think about if you're gonna make a stir fry, how do you make it as nutri nutrient dense as possible? And that would be fresh herbs, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, um, uh, onions if you can cope with onions, if you can't cope with onions, then leeks. So what next is there to talk about? Uh, the next thing to talk about would be how quick they are to make. So if you don't have very much time, then a salad is really quick to make. I always have a cooked chicken in the fridge. I probably cook two chickens a week. I only buy uh, free range chickens. Um, so they are a little bit more expensive, but the chicken actually tastes like chicken. Um, and I think that they are better. I'm happy with um, uh, an organic um, pastured, it's not pastured, is it? Free range, an organic free range chicken. So 
Uh, the salad is the quickest to cook, but remember, it might not be the best for your gut. Secondly, funnily enough, is the soup, because once you get in the habit of making soup, it's really quick. I'm very lucky that I've got a Thermomix, so it's even quicker for me. I just follow the instructions, put it in, and it's all done in one pot. You might need a blender. If you don't have a Thermomix and you're making it in, uh, you're making the soup in a saucepan, you'll need a blender. That could be a hand blender. It could be a blender that you transfer the soup into, into a jug, you know, the kind of jug blender. Um, you could try one of those. Uh, so soup is really easy to make. The slowest thing to make, funnily enough, was the stir fry because I'm chopping all the vegetables. I'm thinking about what have I got in my fridge? What can I um, add? So if you really want to boost the nutrients of these meals, I don't think what I'm about to say would go with soup, wouldn't, um, wouldn't, I wouldn't fancy it, but you might, is think about kimchi and sauerkraut. Now I've talked about sim, uh, kimchi and sauerkraut before. If you want to boost your microbiome, then a tablespoon or more of each per day is what is going to do it. Now, uh, I'm not a massive fan of sauerkraut, I must say, but this one, because it's got pineapple and turmeric in it, um, I prefer. I put that with salad or the stir fry and the same with the super beet kimchi. So they are my tips for lunches. We will talk about how to transport them in a couple of weeks time. If you would like any more information or if you would like a free 30 minute inquiry call with me, then please go onto my website, get in touch and ask any questions. Enjoy the rest of your day.